And Ecclesiastes said, For all this I laid in my heart, even to make clear all this. For the righteous and the wise and their works are in the hand of God. Whether it be love or hatred, we knoweth it not. All events come alike unto all. There is one event to the righteous and to the wicked, as is the good, so is the sinner. And this is an evil in all that is done under the sun, that there is one event unto all. Yea, I returned and I saw that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither bread to the wise, nor riches to people of understanding, but time and chance happeneth to us all. For we know not our time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare, even so are we snared in an evil time, when it falleth suddenly upon us. When I applied my heart to know wisdom, then I beheld all the work of God, that we cannot find out the work that is done under the sun, because though we labored to seek it, we shall not find it. Yea, further, though the wise think that they know it, never shall they understand it. You know, friends, life is a mystery. And death is a mystery, too. None of us ever asks to be born. We know not when the final moment will come. And even between those two parentheses of our being, we cannot account for all of the forces that change us and that shape us and that mold the vicissitudes of our existences. We are not the ultimate arbiters of all meaning and purpose in this world. We begin as dust, and in the final analysis, we end as dust, and we are not privy to the ultimate secrets, not now and not ever. Marvin Hamlish is gone from this world, and he is gone much beyond his time. Many are his plans unfulfilled and his dreams unrealized. He leaves his loved ones sad and bereaved on a lonely way. Their hearts grieve for him, and our hearts grieve for him and for them. Their loss is a profound one. Dear friends, this is not the world of justice, but it is the world of love. It is only through love that we can endure. It is our saving power. But today there is a somber melody that plays in our hearts and echoes with these walls of our sanctuary, the very same sanctuary where George Gershwin's funeral was held on July the 11th, 1937. The Holy One leads us in sad paths.